everyone, it's me, Roxanne, and I'm back with a brand new video featuring the Singer Quantum Stylus 9960. In this segment, I'm going to talk about the benefits of using a computerized machine and how it has built-in warning signals and alerts to tell you if things are not set up just quite right when you try to perform a sewing operation. So right now, I'm going to show you some of the most common warning alerts and what to do about them. So stay tuned. I wanted to give you just a little bit of background as to what inspired this video for me. Recently, I was uh, preparing to make a couple of quick buttonholes and I had the machine set up to do the 112 buttonhole, which is a double rounded buttonhole. And I like this particular buttonhole for drawstring openings. It just is the perfect uh, buttonhole that I have found and I like very much. So I put my buttonhole foot on, I had my fabric, my test fabric set up, I had everything ready to go, I put my presser foot down, and this is what I found. That is the alert that shows me that I forgot to put the buttonhole lever down. Without putting the buttonhole lever down, the buttonhole foot does not ha know how to engage with the machine to know how long to stitch the buttonhole. So let me show you what that looks like. Here I am from the left side of the sewing machine, and you can see that I have my buttonhole foot installed. Now this little piece right here, lever, comes straight down, and that is your buttonhole lever. Now, some people I've seen, they don't pull it down all the way. They pull it down where it rests on top of the buttonhole foot, and that won't allow the foot to work properly. So you need to make sure that when you pull the buttonhole lever down, that you pull it up in between these two plastic pieces so that as the buttonhole foot stitches, it can engage and know when to start and when to stop. Make sure you pull it all the way down and you won't have any issues. Here's another very common warning if you forget to put your presser foot down when you're beginning to sew. This is showing you that you forgot to put your presser foot down. This also was showing in red and it should be in green when the machine is ready to start sewing. You also will see that warning when you're finished showing a buttonhole, reminding you that you need to pick the presser foot up after you've finished the buttonhole, as well as you need to put the presser foot down when starting to sew the buttonhole. So that's a really great alert and to become familiar with, so you'll know, and it's a very simple fix. I'm going to go ahead and press this bottom button which is some of your satin and deco stitches in addition to your uh, letter and number stitches. Now, if you go ahead and you start to sew, you put your presser foot down, you can see that this button is still red. And you notice that there aren't any um, stitches selected. So if you go to start to sew, it's going to ask you, but what stitch would you like to sew? Let me show that to you again. It's asking you a question mark to please select your stitch. So then you can go through and select your stitch at that point. And then you can see that your start stop, stop button is now green and you're all set to go. Another very easy fix. Here I am in front of the LCD screen and I've gone ahead and selected this bottom button again, which is my letter and number stitches. And I want to show you the, the warning alert that comes up once you've hit the 60 characters that can be input into the machine to stitch out at one time. I've gone ahead and I put in all of my uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and then I started with my numbers and got to number six. Now, if I scroll uh, over to go to number seven, you'll see that it's telling me that I can't input any more uh, letters or numbers right now because 
I've already hit 60 characters. So that's another alert to look out for. Here's an alert that can happen if your upper thread is not threaded properly or if there's some other issue with the upper thread. This is the alert that you'll see. It's showing you the upper thread. Let me show you that again. Showing you the upper thread and the thread path. Now, one of the most common issues is not making sure that your presser foot is lifted when you go to thread your sewing machine. You always make sure that your presser foot is lifted because it opens the tension discs that are inside your sewing machine and it allows the thread to pass through and it allows the sensor to sense the thread. So always when you go ahead and change your spool out, always clip it from the spool and pull it out at the bottom of your needle. It's just the safest way to keep your tension discs from having any trouble or any lint or anything getting stuck in them if you're always having your thread travel in one direction. Another very common alert is when you go to engage your bobbin for winding. Press it on and then gently push it to the right. And you'll notice that a little bobbin, winding bobbin, will be will appear in your LCD screen. This is letting you know that your bobbin winding me mechanism is engaged. Now I've noticed lately that some people are having trouble getting their bobbins off their bobbin winder. And I'm not exactly sure why that's happening. Uh, it's never happened to me. And it's always been very easy to disengage and that icon will disappear and then remove the uh, bobbin from its bobbin winding mechanism. So just be a little gentle. You don't want to push it down so far that you push it past this little metal sensor here and have difficulty getting your bobbin off. Thank you for stopping by today and watching my latest video featuring the Stinger Quantum Stylus 9960. I really felt that this information was worth sharing because I think that the warning alerts are just another really great feature of owning a computerized sewing machine. It's really nice for your machine to help tell you why something may not be set up just right when you're going to perform a sewing operation, and then you know where to start to look to fix whatever the problem could be. There are several other warning alerts, but I wasn't able to duplicate some of the other alerts and they're really not as popular. So if you come across an alert and you're unsure, in the back of the manual, it shows all the different warning alerts that are built into the Quantum Stylus 9960. So you'll be able to look up this information and you'll know exactly what that warning alert is trying to tell you. If you've liked what you've seen, please subscribe to my channel and follow the playlist. I have more than 30 videos showing how to use and operate the Singer Quantum Stylus 9960. I always appreciate your comments and your likes. So as always, have a happy creative day. Bye now.